All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about uh, just, I don't know, crazy Rick Springfield stuff. I'm going to talk about it uh, and uh, doing it in real time for a couple of real people out there, just like you and just like me. All right, um, so before I talk about Rick Springfield, um, this, okay? I didn't promote this enough. Um, Mick Sweeta sent this to me. I'm just like... Why did you send this to me? Oh, it's your new album. This was like two years ago. Um, the band is called The Hot Summers. It's kind of a cross between, say, um, Cheap Trick and Danger Danger. Um, it's glam-ish. Um, and then it gets into some other things. But um, this is a good melodic rock album. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Mick Sweeta, he was in The Bullet Boys and I believe King Cobra. So when I got this in the mail, I was I, okay. What do I, Oh, it's music I should promote. So again, uh, sorry, Mick, I didn't promote this enough when it came out. It's really good. And so people should go and listen to it. If you haven't, I know it's a couple of years old now. And so he's probably like, dude, it's too late, you know, but, um, better late than never, right? The hot summers, go check them out. You're going to like them now. Um, kind of relates to Rick Springfield, right? A little bit. Um, cause the origins of this kind of music go back to the 1980s. Of course, Rick Springfield is 74 years old, going to be 75 years old. A couple of uh, interesting things about Rick Springfield. His real name is Richard Lewis Springthorpe. Okay, in case you didn't know that, Springthorpe. <laughs> so it is better, you know, to shorten it to Rick Springfield. Much cooler. Uh, he was in a band called Zoot back in the early days in Australia. And uh, his bio says he's been active since 1962. Now, if you look at his face, right, if you've been watching Rick Springfield age over, I don't know, the last 20 years, he's not aging. I mean, his hair, his look, everything about him, it's just... Weird. Okay. It's kind of like that Ringo Starr thing, but I'd have to say that Rick Springfield is even doing better than Ringo, although Ringo is 83. So, you know, you can debate the 83 year old and what he looks like against the almost 75 year old. Now, if you're looking to go see Rick Springfield in concert, I would probably do that. Uh, he's out there this summer. Um, it says here, over the past four decades, Springfield has worn many hats as an entertainer, a performer, the creator of some of the finest pop music from the 80s, a Grammy-winning singer, songwriter. He's sold 25 million albums. He's scored 17 U.S. Top 40 hits, including Jesse's Girl, Don't Talk to Strangers, which should be on the radio way, way more than it is, An Affair of the Heart. Another song that's underplayed. I've done everything for you. Love somebody and human touch. Springfield, of course, is also an accomplished actor who has starred opposite Meryl Streep in the feature film Ricky and the Flash. Gave a performance as the creepy Dr. Irving Pitlor in HBO's prestige drama True Detective. Earned great reviews for his portrayal of Lucifer on the CW hit Supernatural, and most recently played the insane Pastor Charles on FX's worldwide hit series, American Horror Story. Now, uh, people also uh, forget about Dr. Noah Drake. That's kind of an obvious one. Um, <laughs> Dr. Drake Ramore. <laughs> he, he played Dr. Drake Ramore. No, um, so what I'm just baffled by and you look at these people who don't age well. And I tend to talk about the people who aren't aging all that well. And I forget about Rick Springfield. I mean, Rick Springfield can continue. He's one of those guys who's just ageless, timeless. The vocals are good. He's talking a little weird these days. I don't know if he had some kind of a, a dental issue or there's something going on when he speaks. He sounds kind of weird. But when he sings, that tends to go away. I mean, look, uh, 
you know, I can't, I can't ask for anything more than what Rick Springfield, Rick Springfield uh, is doing as far as uh, maintaining good health, uh, looking very youthful. See, and this is the problem with rock. When you start to look like an old geezer, it's, it's hard really to put this persona out there and say, Hey, I'm a rock star. And you're like, you know, you're hunched over and you're sitting on a stool because you can't stand during the shows. Um, I don't know, folks. I mean, I do agree with the idea that if if you're a little old and you look old, maybe you should do something else, you know, at, at a certain point or just retire, right? Retire or like Kiss, you could sell off your catalog and uh, get George Lucas and and, you know, dream up some avatars of yourself. Um, so you can go out there and continue to tour, even if you're you know, not alive anymore. Your estate can reap the benefits of that. But Rick Springfield out on tour this summer. He's reverse aging. I say I, I said this about Ringo Starr. There's something wrong. Like if um, they've they've got the fountain of youth, right? They need to share that fountain with people like me and people like you. I mean, we just, hey, we're supporting. We bought the cassettes, right? We had a ton of Rick Springfield music in our collection. I did. I mean, I look, I know Rick was kind of big with the ladies and so forth, but man, um, he was cool. He was, he was still cool. I never disliked Rick Springfield because um, the women tended to gravitate toward him more than the dudes did. But um, so <laughs> good way to get a date, right? Yeah, we're going to go see Rick Springfield tonight. And I think you're going to find that ladies will want to attend the concert with you. Just a little tip, even at age 74, almost 75, Rick Springfield looks absolutely amazing. And there's there's just something wrong. That's all I can say. There's something wrong with Rick Springfield or there's something right with him. And then there's something wrong with everybody else. So there you have it. Um <laughs> It was a video about Rick Springfield reverse aging, right? And finding the fountain of youth and looking ridiculously young at almost age 75. He'll be 75 in August. So I'm sure that will be celebrated. I'm pretty sure uh, Sammy Hagar will send him uh, a birthday video, right? Saying happy birthday. Thanks for stealing my song. Um, the hot summers. This is good stuff. You know, if you like Rick Springfield, you might like the hot summers. Um, again, thanks to Mike uh, Sweda for sending this to me a while ago. It's in the collection. I should share it more often. It's really good. Um, yes, you can stream it. Uh, yes, you can check out Mike's website and probably buy a copy of this. Um, the fact that he sent me something in the mail, by the way, this is what the inside looks like. Really cool. Um, when people send me stuff and it's really good quality, yeah, of course, I will feature it on the show. The record labels won't do it. So thank you, Mike, and everyone else who's sent me stuff. God bless everyone, okay? I'm glad everyone has been marked safe from the eclipse, right? Which is good. We got through that. I think we've got another one coming up in like 20 years. So brace yourself for that. God bless you all and uh, pray for peace in the Middle East, okay? All right.